welcome back. I have a super fun date night look for you tonight that is perfect for summertime, perfect for warm weather and the outdoors, and it is featuring Too Faced new Sweet Peach palette. I have been playing with this for a couple of weeks now, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. There isn't a color in here that disappoints me. I know a lot of people have complained that there are not enough peach shades in here, um, but I think that there are a really nice variety. There's a good number of peach shades. There are a lot of shades in the peach family, and there are a lot of very complementary shades. Plus, I just love the names of them, and it just smells really good. And I will tell you that this does leave your eyelids smelling like peach because I had Ryan smell my eyelids one day after I'd had this on for a little while and my eyelids smelled like peach. So I'm going to show you how to do this look. So stick around and I will show you how to do it. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do, I've already primed my eyes. I'm gonna take a big flat brush and I'm going to go into Georgia and I'm going to put that all over my lid to give me a nice base to work with on top of that primer. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Candied Peach and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and that is going to be my transition shade. Just blending, blending, blending that out. And remember, if you have hooded eyes, you want to go a little bit above your crease, which is what I am doing. And then to the outsides and kind of pull it up. Okay, now I am going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into Peach Pit. And I'm going to line my under eyes and go up just slightly to give me that guide for my outer corner. If you don't have hooded eyes, then you really don't need to do that step. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and go back into Peach Pit, and I'm going to pat that on my outer corner and blend over into the crease. Pulling that out. And then I'm going to go back into that candied peach that I used as my transition color and just smooth out that line. It's just not quite so harsh. And now I'm going to take a really flat, dense brush, and I'm going to go into Bellini. And I'm going to pack that all over my lid.
And I'm blending that up into my crease. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go into that Bellini and kind of extend and smoke out that lower lash line a little bit. Although this isn't really a smoky look. And then I'm gonna take that same pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into that peach pit and I'm just gonna kind of accentuate the darkness in that outer V. And now I'm gonna take like a, a dome kind of brush and I'm going to go into Luscious, just right here. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner. And I'm just gonna do a teeny little bit of that, just a very, very, very light wash of it on right underneath my brow bone. And I'm going to finish up my eyeliner and everything and I will be right back. Okay, for the rest of my eyes, I just used a black pencil and I did a black tight line. And then I took a black liquid liner, liquid liner and just did a very thin black line on my upper lash line. And then I used a lash primer. This is by Blink. It is their black lash primer with Buxom's Big and Bushy, which is my favorite mascara combination right now, to do a really big defined lash without having to go for falsies. And this is the look that I came up with. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any other requests for videos, please leave me a comment down below. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.